government's position on the relentless smear campaign against the Gambia. The government of the Gambia has been following events with utter dismay since 1994. The smear campaign orchestrated by some Western powers using selfish and unpatriotic individuals, Gambians and non-Gambians. The enemies of the Gambia have been sponsoring Gambians and non-Gambians to set up organizations with media facilities outside of the Gambia to mount a shameless campaign of lying against the government and people of the Gambia. These people and institutions specialize in lying and providing false attestations for would-be asylum seekers using the main opposition party, UDP, as a platform for certain nefarious activities, thereby casting a very bad and negative image of both the government and noble people of the Gambia. Such campaign is mounted both at home and abroad, providing fake attestations for members of their party to migrate abroad to seek asylum, with total disregard to the image, with total disregard to the damage they cause to the prestige and good image of the people of the Gambia. Our only crime is that we have since 1995 said that the Gambia's petroleum and mineral resource bodies will not be given to any company or country at the detriment of our people and therefore we will not accept the 5% royalty being offered for extracting these natural, these national resources. It is from then on that two western countries created and funded the UDP in Atlanta during the Atlanta Olympics with the belief that the Mandingos formed the majority of the Gambian population and therefore a Mandingo tribal party, the UDP, was going to win the 1996 elections, thereby running the country by the whims and caprices of those Western powers. As Allah the Almighty will never support evil and treachery, this tribal group disguised as a political party not only failed to win the election in 1996 but continues to do so till today and will never rule this country. No sane person will believe that this unpatriotic Mandingo group known as UDP will gain power to help Western powers loot the petroleum and mineral resources of the Gambia. Propagating lies by involving in treachery and sinister machination against the people of the Gambia will neither work nor succeed as 99% of the Gambian populace are decent Allah worshipping Allah worshipping Muslims who are always praying for this country and its leadership. The Gambia government stands for three things. The worship of Allah and our total submission to his will. To ensure that the Gambia will never be recolonized in whatever form or manifestation. And the Gambia will never be enslaved again. Gambians will realize that both in Gambians will realize that in both the UK and US Facilities have been created for so-called Gambians to set up organizations and media facilities to spread nothing but lies against the Gambia by making false, outrageous, and unfounded statements about the state of human rights in the Gambia. Gambia's human rights records since 1994 are much better than what obtains in the UK and the US. The peace and security of this country will never be compromised, especially as it, comes to, as it concerns the treacherous and unpatriotic Gambians living in the UK, US, and other parts of the West. This government will never succumb to blackmail and will maintain our stance in the fight against new colonialism, racism, and exploitation, despite the massive but shameless smear campaign. Our relationship with the West deteriorated when we refused to accept royalties of 5% for our petroleum resources and less than 3% for mineral resources. To our utter dismay, we were informed that all Gambia's petroleum resources were reserved exclusively for the United States of America. This claim was confirmed a few years ago when the Charge or Deputy 